Alright guys, welcome back to this video. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate repetitive tasks using Photoshop Actions. Let's get started. Alright, here open inside Photoshop, you see I have an image on the screen. But before we actually begin, why will you use the actions in Photoshop? For one particular reason, okay? And that reason is to reduce boredom, is to reduce repetitive tasks. For example, let us say you have an image like this on the screen and you need to apply different effects to this particular photo. It might sound easy because it is just one image. But consider a situation where you have maybe 1000 of these photos to apply the same effect to. What you normally do will be to click every photo and make sure you do the adjustments manually, okay? But today, with the power of Photoshop Actions, you can automate that process and make Photoshop do the work for you with the click of a button. Alright, before we actually begin, let me start by introducing you to the Actions panel. You go to Window and choose Actions. When the action panel opens on the screen, the first option you see here will be the default actions that ship with Photoshop. You can click on this arrow to expand and use these actions if you want. But I'm going to close because we don't need those in this particular movie. Then if you have any actions you have created, they will show under here. In my case, I created power options yesterday, so that is why you see power options here. For you to be able to create a new action, you need two things. First, you need a container or a folder where those actions are going to stay inside. In Photoshop, those folders are called sets. To add a new set, you come here to the bottom and click on this folder icon. By default, it is set 1, but I'm just going to call this my actions. And say OK. Now the second thing we need to do is to add the action itself. To add the action, we come to the bottom and click on the plus icon. Now I'm going to give it a name, call it photo correction for example. Then if you click on the pull down menu here, we have all the actions that you have, even those that were shipped with Photoshop. So since I created my actions, I'm going to choose this particular set. If you like, you can assign a keyboard shortcut or a command key, okay? So that when you hit this key, Photoshop is going to perform that action for you instantly. Now the next thing you have to do is to click on this button which says record. Once you click on record, you see this button here at the bottom turns red. That tells you that everything you do will be recorded as from this moment. So what I'm going to do is to minimize this panel and the first thing I would like to do is to go to image and then choose auto tone to correct this image just so slightly. Then the next thing I would like to do is let us say I intend to add vibrance. I'll come here and choose vibrance. Then to make sure it only affects this layer, I will add the clipping marks and then adjust these values just so slightly. Once that is done, I will again minimize that panel and go to the adjustment layers and add brightness and contrast. It gets added on top of the vibrance layer and I will again clip it and take the brightness up just like so, as well as the contrast. Now the next thing I need to do, which is definitely the last step for this demonstration, is to go to adjustment layers and add solid color. And I will just click here to pick a nice blue color like so. Now with this layer selected, let us go to blending mode and choose overlay. I think at this point we are able to see a clear difference. Okay guys, this is just for demonstrative purposes. And if you go to the actions panel, you will see all the changes we have made. Everything is listed here. Right now the next thing we need to do is to make sure that we actually save this document in a certain format. So I will go to file, choose save as and I will just call it guide 2 on my desktop but I will change the document type to jpeg and say ok. Now that all those changes have been made, I will go to the actions panel and we can clearly see the save action right here. Now what I will need to do next is to come to this button and click to stop the recording. Now if you look up here you will see we have the action set which is like the folder and the action itself which is photo correction. So I'm going to minimize this group just like so. Now what I'm going to do is to come over here and delete all these layers. So we have just the original image that was there. Now to run that particular action one more time, I will just go to the actions panel, click on this arrow to open it and here we have photo correction. I will just click there and down here at the bottom I will click on this button which says play the given actions. I will click there to play and Photoshop is going to process all that information and bring it back instantly. I will not have to do that process all over again. 
So you may look at this and say, well, you can always do this because you have just one, two, three steps. But imagine a scenario where you have thousands of images to do this particular effect. That is when you will know it's going to be actually time consuming. So now that you have understood how actions work, let us see how you can automatically automate different images at the same time. To add this particular action to different images at the same time, what you have to do is let us first of all close this document by the way and say no. What you have to do guys is to go to file and you choose automate and then here you click batch. This is the option that will help you to automate thousands of images at the same time using a particular effect. So on this screen, we have two things. We have the source and the destination. Under the source, I am going to click on the set and make sure that I choose my actions. And then under actions, I will make sure I choose photo correction, which is under this set. Then I'll click on the source folder and choose folder, okay? Then I'll click where it says choose. Now I'll have to navigate to my desktop so I'm going to choose this new files and then come down here to the bottom right and say select folder. Then under the destination, we also want it to be inside another folder. So I will also click on choose. This time I have created a folder on my desktop in advance called bash files. You can see it is currently empty. So I'm going to select that folder and choose select. So we have the source and the destination. Then the next thing you have to do is to make sure this button is turned on. Just say okay. It's very helpful then the last thing we need to do is to fill this information right here what I normally do is click where it says known and choose document name and call it image then under the second box here we have two digit serial number you can also choose three digit but just know if you choose three digit instead of zero one you will now have zero zero one and if you choose four digit serial number you have zero 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 one okay I always work with two digits, just zero one is enough. So here I'll give a little bit of space so it reflects here. Then on the third button right here, I will choose the lowercase extension right here, not the uppercase extension, the lower one, space 01.gif. With all these settings set, what I'm going to do is to click OK. Once you click OK guys, Photoshop is going to automatically open images. In those particular folders we said earlier on and automatically apply the effect close the image open another one in that particular sequence until all those files in that folder are saved so i'll just be patient for a while the action is still going on once that is done you will be returned calmly to the new document you are currently working on or in my case because i closed everything and i was on this blank screen that is where photoshop will take me to now the good thing is if i go to my desktop this is the image I used as an example, but if we now go to bash files, which we chose a minute ago, I'll click to open that up so that you can see. If we look at all these images right here, we can now see that all the effects we applied in Photoshop have been applied to all these images, which is very cool and practical, guys. The same method you use here, you can use it even if you have thousands of images to automate. Photoshop is going to do that action for you. So start using Photoshop Actions as from today guys if you have intensive repetitive tabs that you need to automate. Just so you know, I'm going to click on this image for us to have a clear comparison. So here on the screen you can see we have the image of this guy, not this particular image guys. I'm going to close it and then return to the original folder and I'll open this other image. Okay guys, so you can see that by using Photoshop Actions we didn't have to apply that effect several times. What we only had to do was to go to file and then choose automate and then after we choose batch we had to set the source folder and the destination folder and everything was done automatically using the power of Photoshop. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you got value out of it. If you did, kindly support this channel by hitting the like button and subscribing. In that way you will be the first person to get notified when new updates just like this are released. Thank you and I will see you in the next one tomorrow.